Hey, Len Haggerty with Move Train Golf, and today I wanted to share an exercise with you that is extremely important, and it's one of the first exercises I show all my clients, whether they know how to do this or not, and that is the pelvic tilt. Being able to do the pelvic tilt is extremely important because in golf, it is going to allow you to have a better setup um, in addressing the golf ball. It's going The pelvic tilt will allow you to kind of um, have some movement or mobility in the lumbar spine, even though the lumbar spine is actually more of a stability joint. You need to be able to do this again for proper setup and address at the of the uh, of the golf ball. It also is great for emphasizing um, transverse abdominals and inner core strength. And lastly, it is a movement that occurs at impact of the ball. And so that's going to give you that last little bit to have that nice hard drive or have that nice shot coming off of um, the club. So the pelvic tilt, um, practice this on your own. If you can do it already, great. Stay tuned because there will be other exercises that progress from this to make things a little more challenging. If this movement is hard for you, really practice this. All right. Um, and if you have any questions, DM me, email me. The contact is there. Um, and so make sure you uh, follow and subscribe. And uh, we'll be talking soon. So right now, check out the pelvic tilt. To perform the pelvic tilt, the athlete will lie on the back, bent knees and feet flat on the floor. You're going to try to move your pelvis back and forth, arching your back and flattening your back. Try to limit any chest or upper body movement at the same time. Make sure when you flatten your back, you should also be drawing in or flattening your stomach or bracing, not sticking it out. Repeat this back and forth. I suggest you do this for 10 times, squeezing the core when you pelvic tilted and releasing. So two to three sets, 10 reps, and you're done.